In this video, we are going to tackle Black Beauty Story Chapter 4. Chapter 4 New Owners Before you read, What problems do you think Black Beauty could have while he is working at Earl Shall Hall? Earl Smythe's house at Earl Shall Park was much bigger than Birtwick Park and more modern. The Earl's daughter, Lady Anne, liked to ride me around the park with her brother or cousins. I enjoyed these rides, which were sometimes with Ginger and sometimes with another young horse called Lizzie. I was a popular horse with Earl Smythe's wife as well as his daughter, but Lady Smythe always used me to pull carriages. She liked the latest fashions, and one of these was for horses to use special reins. These kept the horses' heads high in the air all the time while they were pulling the carriages. How wonderful they look! the lady said when she saw Ginger and me with our heads held high. But the reins were very uncomfortable and it was almost impossible to pull the carriage up a hill when you could not put your head down. If they do not tighten the reins more, I will do what they ask me, said Ginger. I can see that this is a good home and that they are good people. But if they tighten them any more, there will be trouble. I did not like these reins at all, but Ginger and I continued to work hard. However, every day, they tightened the reins a little more. One day, we were both in a carriage together. The lady decided that she wanted the reins to hold our heads up even higher. I could see that Ginger was not happy. Before the man could tighten the reins, Ginger began to kick so hard that she fell to the ground. I fell too, and we both had to be cut from the carriage as soon as possible. We were both hurt after the fall and we were taken home. Earl Smythe's helper, York was angry about the special reins, but there was nothing he could do to stop Lady Smythe's love of fashion. He washed our wounds with hot water and it took a long time before we recovered. Ginger and I were put in a field to recover, but my knees were badly damaged. We were not well enough to run as we used to do, so we spent a lot of time chatting. Then one day, the Earl came to see us with York. I spent good money on these horses, he said, but if they cannot pull a carriage, we must sell them. I know a man in Bath who needs a good horse, said York. He looks after his horses well. You should write to him, York said the Earl. We can still get good money for Black Beauty. I'm not so sure about Ginger. A week later, I was taken away from the field and said a quick goodbye to Ginger. I was taken on a train to the town of Bath. It was my first journey on a train, but the experience was not a bad one. I was taken on a trip. My new owner lived in a small house in the town, and he had many horses. People could hire the horses for a day. This meant that many of them were not good drivers. I was a gentle horse, so my new owner often let bad drivers take me because he knew I would behave well. Some of these riders pulled the reins so hard that it hurt my mouth. Some did not use the reins at all, so that I did not know what to do. 
Others did not understand that a horse cannot work when it has a stone in its foot. One driver complained that he had hired a bad horse because I could not walk very fast. The stone in my foot was very painful and it was very difficult for me to get home again. However, there were also good drivers in Bath. One of these liked me so much that he asked my owner if his friend could buy me, and soon I had another new owner. His name was Mr. Barry. He was a businessman who had little exercise and his doctor advised him to ride a horse to keep him healthy. He had a helper called Filcher to look after me and bought me the best food he could find. Filcher was good to me and for a time I was happy. I did not know then that my life was not going to be happy for long. Filcher began to give me less food each week and I became hungry. I had less energy and started to feel exhausted all the time. When Mr. Barry visited a farmer friend in the country, the friend said, Your horse does not look the same. Has it been ill? No, but Filcher told me that horses often have less energy in the autumn and that it's nothing to worry about, Mr. Barry replied. That's not true, cried the farmer. If you buy good food for this horse, then it isn't eating it. Something else is. I suggest that you give this horse some good food for the next few weeks. And I advise you to watch your helper. There are some men who will steal food even from an animal. Of course I knew what happened to my food. Filcher put most of it into a basket and took it home. His family kept rabbits which they sold at the market, and my food was given to them. Mr. Barry called the police after this, and they later arrested Filcher. This experience made Mr. Barry feel bad, and he decided to sell me into a market for horses. There were horses there of all shapes and sizes, some were tall and strong, others were old and sick. It worried me to see some of the horses who looked very thin. Would I be like that one day? I stood with three other strong-looking horses and many people came to look at us. The men who thought about buying me opened my mouth, looked in my eyes and felt my skin. Many of them saw that the knees were damaged and some were rough with me. There was one man, however, who felt my legs gently and spoke softly. I liked him and hoped he would buy me. I think we'll be good for each other, he said. He paid 24 pounds and I had another new owner. Now let's have a look on the vocabulary. Arrest, when the police take someone away because they have done something bad. Chat, talk in a friendly or informal way. Complain, say that you are not happy about something. Exhausted, very tired. Experience as a noun, something that happens to you and has an effect on how you feel. Fashion, the style of clothes, hair, etc. that is popular at a particular time. Hire, pay money to borrow something for a short time. Painful, making you feel hurt or pain. Pay which is the present or the infinitive paid past give or gave someone money for something that you are buying from them or for work that uh, for work they have done 
recover to get better after an illness, injury, etc. Reins, a long piece of leather that goes round a horse's head to control it. Rough, using too much strength or violence. Tighten, make something fit more closely. Wound, an injury, usually a deep cut in the skin. That's all about chapter four, Black Beauty. You have the questions in the workbook or in the in your book. You have to answer them, then we will give you the model answer. Thank you.